Hey there guys, how you doing there? In today's video, we put the last two floors onto the police station in my Lego city, Brickadelphia. ba 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 ba, -ba Brickadelphia. Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm Steve. Hi. And if you've missed out on parts one, two, or three of the series that I've put together on the police station that I'm creating, you can check them out right here. Right here. Here. This is part one. Two. Three. Part four. Can you believe it? Cuatro. And we're going to put the last two floors onto this bad mamma jamma. Seven floors, that's like... It's like over twice the height of anything that's currently in my city right now. Is that redundant to say that? Currently, right now? Let's go head on over to the build table, huh? Cool, cool. So I've pre-assembled the sections for the sixth floor and the seventh floor, uh, but before we start attaching the sixth floor to the building, uh, there are some modifications that I want to make to this section right here. The struggle with dust is real, and it's never going to go away. So to ease the pain of dusting LEGO, my first modification is to tile the roof right here. These black bricks represent uh, the first half of the three-dimensional signage I'm making for my police station. This is the raceway that the channel letters are being attached to. So as you can see here, uh, the front of the raceway is actually resting on the studs. And uh, because I'm going to be adding tiles to the roof now, that's uh, going to cause a little bit of a problem. So my second modification is that I need to put a plate under the raceway to raise it up a little bit. This is the seventh floor section that goes behind the sixth floor uh, section right here. So this wall goes up here like this. Here is our modified raceway. And this is where the second half of the 3D sign goes. So the last modification that I want to make is to change these dark bluish gray jumper plates to light bluish gray. I think that this will look a lot better and it will match uh, the new tiles that we just put in.
since we're in the tiling mood, uh, there's this little section here on the fourth floor. We're going to tile that up also. Okay, sixth floor is complete. Just going to pop in some more windows and finish the seventh floor. I just wanted to show you guys the inside here. I put support plates in there on every other floor just to help uh, the structure out and to keep it from wobbling too much. And then here's a closer look at those light bluish gray jumpers that I swapped out. I think it looks much more cohesive now than when it did with the dark gray ones. I think that was a good uh, change from what I originally had designed. What do you guys think? I'm actually going to hold off on showing you guys what it looks like until the next video, which is actually the last one, hopefully. I've got some pretty cool stuff that I wanna to unveil to you guys in the next one. We're gonna to put together the last of the signage, the roof, and some pretty cool details that go along with that. Plus I hope to compare it to that building uh, in Spider-Man that I showed you guys in part one. Uh, this was the building that kind of got the whole ball rolling and inspired me to create what I did. It's going to be a good one. You won't want to miss it. Please like and subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Stuff. And be sure to keep an eye out for part five. Boom. And as always, thanks for stopping by and we'll catch you next time. Bye. 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 Part four come such a long way. Okay, let's head. Okay, let's head on over to the build table. Okay, let's head on over to the build table. All righty, let's head on over to the build table. Okie dokie. All right, let's head on over to the build table. All righty then. Let's head over to the build. Let's head on over to that build table. To the build table. The build table. To the build table, huh? I don't know how else to say it.